Women Taking the Lead, episode 100. Hey everyone, it's Jody, and thank you so much for being here for this 100th episode of Women Taking the Lead. Oh my God, can you even believe it? I am so excited. And for this episode, I wanted it to be something special to mark the occasion. So what I did was I went back to the past 100 episodes and I pulled out the quotes that were shared by each guest and I strung them together with some background music. And I have to say, it is pretty amazing. I listened to it already and I love it. And what I want this to be for you is something that you can go back to, something that you can listen to when you need some motivation or you're feeling down. You just need something to boost your energy. You know, mark this episode and come back to it and listen to it when you need it. And before we get started, I wanted to talk about a webinar that I'm going to be doing called How to Be Recognized and Rewarded for the Work That You Do. I've been talking to a lot of you in this community, and the things I'm hearing is that you're struggling with things like how to advocate for yourself, uh, how to how to say what it is that you need and want without coming off selfish or greedy or needy. You know how to, how to be recognized for what that you're doing, be appreciated and respected. And that was something I definitely had in my career. I definitely felt appreciated respected, rewarded, well compensated for the work that I was doing. And I know that there were key things that I was doing and things that I was not doing that had me be that woman. And I want to pass those on to you. I want you to get the goods so that you can have that in your life because the feeling is just amazing. So what you want to do is go to women tl.com forward slash webinar dash interest to get any updates on when the webinar is going to be. I'm definitely going to do it in March, but I'll be doing it over and over and over again. So if the March date doesn't work out for you, if you're on this list, you'll get the updates on when that is happening. So you want to go to women tl.com forward slash webinar dash interest and get yourself on that list. And of course, the link will be in the blog post that accompanies this post, so you can always go there and just click on the link. Now, without further ado, the 100 quotes of women taking the lead. Embody your story. Just own it. Whatever has happened to you is has happened to you for a reason. Don't let fear get in the way of your biggest dream, even if your biggest dream is your biggest fear. Follow your heart and dare to dream because you know you, you got to be able to follow everything that you want to do, and you got to dream the biggest you can dream. I mean, if you don't dream big, then you're never going to be able to kind of really reach for these huge goals. If you work to help other people, then you will you'll get the benefit. I mean, if you help to to get other people where they want to go, then you'll get where you want to go. I am that I am. Without change there would be no butterflies. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. The decision to succeed comes before a plan. We are all craving to do something big. We're craving to get better. We are craving to to shine. Leadership is not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It's about one life influencing another. True leadership, this is my add-on, is all about one life influencing another. To be great is to be misunderstood. Life is too short to look just fine. Every day you should look divine. All is well is my thing. I say that to myself, I don't know how many times a day, all is well. Life is a four letter word, but living isn't. Like don't live your life on autopilot, Um, participate and do great things. If I need the help, I turn to it. If I need the help in the household, if I need the help to publish, if I need the help to edit, If I needed help, I have no qualms about asking for it. Luck favors the prepared, which I heard in The Incredibles. Jesus, I trust in you. 
do what you can where you are with what you have. I'm happy and free. I am me. I will live deep and suck out all the marrow of life and not, when I come to die, discover I have not lived. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Where there is much light, the shadow is deep. There are no traffic jams along the extra mile. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We teach other people how to treat us, or we teach others how to treat us. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small doesn't serve the world. Your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card. How you leave others feeling after an experience with you becomes your trademark. Avoid negative self-talk. He who has a why can survive any how. It is our choices that determine what we truly are far more than our abilities. There's no book that says certain things have to happen by the time you're a certain age. You can do this. When it comes to the futures, it's, you know, we can have two options. You can let it happen. You can make it happen. Believe and succeed. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Find out who you are and do it on purpose. If you can dream it, you can live it. Follow your passion every step of the way and you'll always be filled with passion. If I allow the outcome to become more important than the source, then I lose both the source and the outcome. Take care of your thoughts because they become your words. And to take care of your words because they become your actions. Take care of your actions because they become your habits. Take care of your habits because they will form your character. Take care of your character because it will form your destiny. And your destiny will be your life. You are uniquely brilliant. You were created for a purpose. The world needs you. I'm not funny. What I am is brave. Bold is the new sexy. Live, love, and lead. Keep optimizing. You can't change your problem with the same mind that created it. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Uh, The question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. Being mindful and, you know, waking up every day with the the attitude that I'm going to make this the best day possible, that, you know, everything I have on my agenda, I'm going to do fully and I'm and I'm going to, you know, embrace those opportunities for what they are. Do what you can with what you have where you are. You can't subtract pain, but you can add love. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Committed eats impossible for breakfast. Because the word impossible is I'm possible. Om Mani Padme Um. Always seems impossible until it's done. Faith, not fear. Faith, not fear. That worrying is a waste of time. Luck comes to those who work hard. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it's the little voice at the end of the day that says, I will try again tomorrow. Unused creativity is not benign. That is really what happens when you're perpetually irresistible, is you're not just irresistible to men, but you're irresistible to opportunity. You can have everything you want in life if you help uh, other people get what they want. A mathematical journey with geometrical intrigue. 
if you can rely on others, you can do everything you dream. Behind every successful woman is herself. One dream could change your life. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make the manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Set a goal so big that you can't achieve it until you grow into the person who can. Bloom where you are planted. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. To just be. I feel like we're so (laughs) do, 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 do that we have forgotten how to be. To walk with the dreamers, the believers, the courageous, the cheerful, the planners, the doers, the successful people with their heads in the clouds and their feet on the ground. Let their spirit ignite a fire within you to leave this world better than when you found it. Conditioning is more powerful than discipline. Never dull your sparkle. And will you succeed? Yes, you will, indeed. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Everything happens for a reason. Listen to the mustn'ts, you know, listen to the don'ts, listen to the never haves, listen to the won'ts, and then listen to me, child. Anything can happen, anything can be. The point of life is happiness. Discovery is seeing what everybody else has seen and thinking what nobody else has thought. How we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. Our thoughts are magnet. I always tell my kids, beauty goes away, but a kind and generous heart will last for forever. It's more like a wine. (laughs) That's they say that it only gets better with time. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pool of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. It's a sense of community when I connect them with others. The ability to say, wow, I didn't know other people felt so alone. I didn't know other people felt so afraid. And the ability to just talk about it releases some of those fears. If you manage to stay on your path in life, you'll always be at the perfect place. Make the impossible your reality, and it will ultimately become your reality. Try not to become a person of success, but rather a person of value. Success doesn't come to you. You go to it. You need to have an affection for place and people and animals, and you need to have an affection for hard work and the soil and all of the things that come together to make a life and to make a a successful and productive life. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be a value. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And the other one is never lose your sense of humor. If we all did the things we're capable of, we would astound ourselves. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. You are a warrior. You go through the finish line, not to it. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Stop managing your time and start managing your energy. Base your worth not on your failure or successes but on your dedication to your path. And there it is. The first 100 episodes on women taking the lead. And I hope there are hundreds more. 
And again, I'll be doing a free webinar called How to Be Recognized and Rewarded for the Work that You Do. If you want to be kept in the loop on that, please head over to womentl.com forward slash webinar dash interest. And of course, this link will be in the blog post that accompanies the episode. And to send you off, I'm going to highlight the quote that inspired it all. This quote has been in every episode from the get-go and was also shared by Barbara Roach and Nancy Marshall, but this one bears repeating. From the wise Marianne Williamson, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Again, thank you for joining with me, and here's to your success.